Hi there, I'm Jen, this is Remembered Reads, and this is going to be the African Writer's Tag. The African Writer's Tag was created by Rashmika from Rashmika Likes Books, and she also tagged me. Question number one is try to greet us in at least one African language. English and French don't count. Jumbo Habari. That is some of the only Swahili I remember. I studied it at university. We had a lot of sample sentences about blue books. Hiki ki tabu ni blue. And lots of about verb classes. So book, books, ki tabu, vi tabu. But there are verb classes, so language borrowings, like 20 is ishrini, which comes from ishrun in Arabic. And obviously kitabu does too. Yeah, that's all I, I It says no English or French, but it doesn't say no Portuguese or Arabic, so we could be doing bom dia, marhaban. Anyway, that's probably cheating. Question number two is look up a list of African countries. Which African country had you never heard of before? Rashmika did, went through a list of them in her video. Uh, the only one I had never heard of before was Iswatini, and I thought, why have I never heard of that? And it's because that's what Swaziland is now called. So obviously I have heard of Swaziland, but I hadn't heard that they changed the name. So that was interesting. Question number three is which African country do you want to read more about? And I do actually have a number of books by a writer who is from Iswatini or Swaziland. And that is uh, Malanun, who writes this mystery series that I've talked about in some of my March Mystery Madness videos. She is not originally from there. Her parents are South African, but they were a mixed race couple during apartheid, so they moved there and then later to Australia. So her books are actually set in South Africa. They're not set in Swaziland, but she was born there. Question number three is which African country do you want to read more about? I feel like I should say Djibouti because I have never read a book from there, but I probably would say West Africa in general. I think I've read quite a few books by authors from Southern Africa, East Africa, Central Africa, and North Africa, and West Africa is just a place where I haven't read very many authors. I certainly read some British authors and some American authors who are of, for example, Nigerian descent or Ghanaian descent, and I've I listened to some French musicians who are of Senegalese descent, but I don't think I've read any books that are from the countries in there, so other than nonfiction. So I suppose that's some place I should read novels about. Question number four is which African country have you read the most about? I think the African country that I have read the most novels set in is definitely South Africa because I was on a South African kick about 15 years ago where I read almost entirely South African authors for a couple of years. I think in terms of nonfiction, I've read quite a bit about Egypt and Kenya, but yeah. Question number five is, which is your favorite African writer? And that is not diasporic. African writer in Africa. One of my favorite novels of all time was written by a South African writer, K. Selo Diker, who unfortunately killed himself right before his third novel came out. Uh, so I always name him because The Quiet Violence of Dreams is one of my favorite books of all time. I sometimes joke that my problematic favorite it was, is Andre Brink, who passed away a couple of years ago. He wrote an incredibly huge volume of fiction. He also translated a lot of Afrikaans writing into English. He had some occasionally odd political views. He wasn't super good at writing women, although he often wrote women characters, but when he was good, he was very good. I think The Other Side of Silence, which is about a mutilated German woman and a traumatized hero man in the desert in Namibia in during the German colonial period is just brilliant. I think that's great. And I was almost going to name either Alain Mambanku or uh, Fisoma Wanza Mazula as favorites, but I think both of them have been overseas long enough that they no longer count because both of them have been in Europe for at least a decade, so I think they don't count anymore. Um, although I don't know what the limit is cause, because Rashmika was talking about J.M. Katsaya and he lives in Australia now, so if he still counts, I don't know what the, the limit is. Although Mambanku has been in France for 30 years, so I think that counts. Okay, anyway, oh, the next question is, who is your favorite overseas writer? So those two are probably, <laughs> so there we go, I answered that question. Although actually, now that I've said that, I realize that one of my longstanding favorite authors, uh, is actually also from Tanzania, and that is uh, M.G. Vizinji, who I always, who I think a lot of people think of as an Indo-Canadian author, because he's of 
Indian heritage and has been in Canada a long time, but he's actually from Tanzania. Here we go. I talk about his short story collections pretty frequently. I really enjoy his writing, so he's probably actually my favorite. Question number seven is which is your least favorite African overseas writer? That's a good question. Least favorite? I don't know. See, as I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking of more favorites, but least favorite is interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like if I don't enjoy a writer, I just stop reading them. So yeah, hmm, I don't know. All right, question number eight is what genre would you like to read but set in Africa? Well, as I said, I have some police procedurals on my TBR. Yeah, a couple times recently I've seen books that were advertised as being fantasy or urban fantasy in North African settings, and then they turned out to not really have those settings, and that's been disappointing. So I'd like to see some of that that's really that, that's not just marketed that way. Question number nine is share a few books on your TBR by African writers. All right, so I've mentioned this series three times already, so I'm just going to hold that up and put it back down. Um, a piece of nonfiction that I'm looking forward to getting to is Nawal El Sadawi's Daughter of Isis. This is her autobiography. She was a, was a medical doctor who turned to writing and then her writing got her in political trouble in Egypt in the 60s and 70s and just really interesting stuff. So I'm very interested to read her writing about herself. I think this will be interesting. I think I mentioned Jam Kutseya earlier and even though I kind of think of him as an Australian now, which I think I just do because I counted Slow Man as an Australian novel here that I read it because I was thinking, have I really almost never read anything by Australians? I'm going to consider it Australian now. But this is The School Days of Jesus, or maybe it's The School Days of Jesus, because the dog in this is called Bolivar, so it's probably Jesus. I'm going to get to this one soon. And I also have uh, a new one by Zakes Mda, who I read a lot of when I was in that South African kick 15 years ago. I think Ways of Dying and Heart of Redness are his two most famous books. I always really liked the Madonna of the Excelsior a lot. Um, I do like Heart of, Heart of Redness was impressive too. It, very interesting. But anyway, I don't even know what this is about. I just saw it at a used bookstore and went, I haven't read any of his books in 10 plus years. And it was a dollar. Can't beat that. And as I said, I think he's great. Uh, and I can't believe it's been so long since I've read one of his. All right, question number 10 is tag some of your friends. Spread the love in the spirit of Ubuntu. That especially since like Black History Month in the US and Canada just happened in February. So if you were reading any African writers, I would love to hear about who you read. So you should do this tag. Consider yourself tagged. And if you don't want to be tagged, just tell me who your favorite African writers are. All right, thanks again to Rashmika for tagging me. That's it for now. Ciao.